Hello, in this Android modding tutorial of Galaxy S2, I'll show you how to overcome apps storage issues on your phone. As you can see in storage settings on my phone, I have 1.97 GB total space under device memory. Device memory is the place where our apps are installed. Under USB storage, I have 11.5 GB. This is the location of internal storage where certain apps data like those of games and user files are usually stored. So even though I have more than 8 GB of internal space of level, I get storage space related errors because I have just uh, around 249 MB of level on my de device memory out of the allocated 1.97 GB. Hence I'll show you how to increase apps storage space on your Galaxy S2 out of total internal storage space. Theoretically speaking, we will increase the device memory partition and decrease USB storage partition capacity so that we could get 4 or 6 or 8 GB for apps storage instead of the default. 2GB and the rest for the USB storage. So let's proceed. Download the required files that is Odin partition file field CWM recovery from the link given in the description section of this video. Extract the downloaded zip files. Now you have to decide how much of the storage space you want for apps. Galaxy S2 has default 13 to 14 GB of internal storage space, out of which 2 GB is allocated to apps in the form of device memory and 12 GB in the form of USB storage for data and user files. If you select 4 GB PIT file here, you will get 4 GB of device memory and about 10 GB of USB storage memory. So let's do this. Connect your phone to computer. You will see a box highlighted yellow here in Odin program. This process will format your mobile phone so all your apps and data including pictures, music, video files will be gone so back up before proceeding. Click on PDF button and locate the downloaded field CWM recovery file. Now click on the PIT button and select the desired capacity file. I'll choose 6 GB as it forms a good balance between apps storage and user data files storage. You will see repartition box automatically ticked. Click on the start button. message pass the process is completed you can safely unplug your phone from your computer now let's check the storage settings again You can see I have 5.91 GB available as device memory for apps storage and 7.51 GB as USB storage for data and user files. That's a perfect balance and now I don't think I will feel shortage of space for apps installation anytime soon in future. Thank you for watching this video. For any kind of questions or queries, follow the link given in the description section as instructions given on the link is updated with more details but the video cannot be easily edited and updated. So once again, thank you and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.